Just trying to flatten this ground out over here. It's kind of bumpy. Hmm. I gotta make it nice and flat so I can. Oh! Hi! Is it time for gym class? That's right, I almost forgot. I was busy doing some work in my yard. You see what I've done? I shoveled away all the grass and a bunch of dirt. I mean, look at that pile of dirt over there. Whew. <clears throat> you know, oftentimes in karate class and during gym class, I talk about using your imagination. Well, before there was this big dirt spot here, it was grass. And I imagined that I could make a patio, put a little fire pit out here, have some chairs, and have a nice place for people to sit in the summertime. And you know what? I'm making it happen for real. But you know something? It's a lot of hard work. I've been digging, and then raking, and shoveling, and wheelbarrowing, and hammering, and cutting, and doing all kinds of work. And boy, my muscles are tired. You know what it's a lot like? It's a lot like exercise. When you exercise and make your muscles tired, whew, they come back stronger. But after you do all that exercise, there's a step in between. And if you don't do that step in between, it might not work as well. And that step is rest and recovery. So if you do all kinds of exercise, you need to slow down for a minute, take a deep breath, and and rest. One of the things you can do when you're resting is called stretching. So I'll tell you what we're going to do today. Rather than do a crazy workout, I think since I'm already really worked out and my muscles are tired, they need some good stretching. So let's try a stretching session today. What do you think? Well, you can use stretches the next time we do some exercise. So when you go out and play, or you do karate class, or you do another gym class, when you're all done, you sit down and you can do some of these stretches that I'm gonna show you. But you know what, I can't do stretches with my work gloves on. You know, I can't, uh, I'm a little dirty. I'm sorry guys, I, I wasn't really ready. I was busy digging, so let's, but let's do it this way. I and mean, we can do it whatever we're wearing. Come on over here, let's find a clear spot. This looks like a good spot here. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. Find an open space doesn't have to be outside, it could be inside, on the carpet. And I want you to start standing up really tall and just stretch. Oh, oh you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take off my hat for my stretches too. Ah, that way, oh, doesn't fall off when I bend over. <laughs> okay, so I want you to reach up for the sky and stretch with your hands. See how high you can reach. Boy, it's really pretty and blue up there. Oh, whew. Good, and then I want you to do this. I want you to spread your feet really far apart, reach up with one hand like this and bend sideways. And look, this hand's gonna slide right down my leg and reach for my foot. Oh, that feels pretty good. Can you feel how the muscles over here are stretching? And then come back up and then go the other way and stretch and bend, bend big. Your body needs to rest and recover and stretching helps. Oh boy, my muscles are already feeling better. All that lifting I did today, I was carrying heavy stones and bags full of gravel and big boards. Whew. You might think, Sensei Dave, is that fun to do all that work? Well, you know something? When you imagine something and you're creating something new, I would say, yeah, it's a lot of fun, even when it's hard work. All right, now spread your feet apart even wider. Reach up for the sky and then bend forward, not by your tummy here, but by your waist like this, or by your hips, sorry, and reach for your toes. See, I'm reaching for the ground in front of my toes. Ah, and then I'm gonna come back up again. Whew, boy, that felt pretty good. If you can wriggle your feet out a little farther, go ahead and do that, and then bend down. Look, my back is nice and flat when I do it, see? Putting my hands on the ground, stretching. Ooh, I can feel it, and then I'm gonna come up. If you need to, you can put your hands on your legs to come up, and then I'm gonna reach for the sky. Oh, I'm gonna wriggle my feet out a little farther. 
And then I'm going to come back down again. I'm going to stretch now when I'm down here this time. Watch. I'm going to stay down here. My hands are on the ground. And I'm going to take my hands and walk them over and try to get them over to one side. And I'm getting towards my work boot over there. Uh, you can even grab your boot and try to bend there. I'm trying to make my forehead reach my toes. Ugh, it's not getting there. And then I'm going to walk back this way and go to the other leg. Uh, I try to reach. I can grab my foot and reach. Oh, boy. And then I'm going to come back to the middle. Now, these are stretches that I would do in my karate class. Bend your knees, wriggle your feet in closer, and come back up. Ooh, that feels pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to sit down, okay? You go ahead and sit down with me. Ah, Put your feet out in front of you, toes up. Boy, am I dirty or what? That's what happens when you work in the dirt. You know something, though? I'm having a lot of fun getting dirty. <laughs> Just make sure you take off your dirty shoes before you go in the house if you're like me. All right, okay, I'm going to bend one leg like this. Ugh. I'm going to kind of stick it out to the side. I'm pointing this toe up in the air. Both of my arms are inside my leg. I'm going to sit my body up real tall and straight, and then I'm going to lean over, and I'm going to try to make my chin reach my big toe. Do you think it's, think it's going to get there? Yeah, you're right. It's probably not, but... You can reach, and when you reach, it's going to make the muscles in your leg right here in the back feel like they're stretching. Stretch. Now, if you're in my karate class, we talk about this a lot. When, what does it feel like when you stretch? Is there kind of a pulling feeling in your muscles? Does it hurt? Well, I teach my karate students to imagine that they give a number to how much it hurts. So let's say if it doesn't hurt at all, you could call that zero. And if you go in the stretch and it hurts so much that you can't take it anymore, we could call that 10. So when I bend down and do my stretch, I don't want to feel 10. That's too much. But it has to be more than zero. Well, that's not enough. So lean forward until you feel maybe the five or the six. Oh, for me, that's about right there. It feels okay. I can feel it working, but it's not so bad that I feel like I have to stop. If you go past five or six, you can just come back a little bit. Let's try the other leg. So make the other leg straight and bend the other knee, both hands inside. And my, I put my hands on the ground outside my leg. Sit your body up straight and tall and then lean forward. Remember, make your chin go to your toe. I'm not going down like this. I'm going that way. And then when you feel a five or a six, it's okay, whichever one you like. Hold it. And then sit back up. Let's switch legs. Ha! Huh. So bend this leg a little bit. Put your hands on the ground on the outside of your other foot. Sit up straight and tall and lean forward. Now maybe when you go to the five or six this time, you actually go a little farther than you did the first time. That's actually the cool thing about stretching. The more you do it, ah, oh, that's pretty good. I'm going, I think I'm going a little farther than I did. And then switch. Now, I'm not counting in any particular number, but when you stretch, you could count to 10 or 15 if you want to. But just keep doing the stretch a couple times on each body part. All right, so here we go. Sitting up straight. Toes up. Leaning forward. Trying to make my chin go past my toe. And when I feel a five or six, I hold it. Count to 10. Hmm. You can also do some fun things like roll your foot to the outside or roll it to the inside just to change the way it feels. Pretty good. All right, come on up. Ah, that doesn't feel too bad. All right, let's try this stretch. Okay, bend both knees like this. Boy, this is funny to do with boots on. <laughs> I'm going to put the bottoms of my feet together, and then I'm going to grab my ankles. Some of you know this is the butterfly. So what I want you to do is scoot your bottom closer to your feet and then sit up real straight and tall. Whew. Now, I will tell you, this is a hard one for Sensei Dave to do. Remember that new hip I got? It doesn't really bend that far, but this is pretty good. What I want you to try to do, though, sitting like this, is grab your feet and try to bend your body forward. Put your nose on your toes. I'm not my nose anywhere near those toes. Those are dirty boot toes. That would be dirty and stinky. 
But, so anyway, but maybe if your feet are stinky and dirty, well, you might have to hold your nose when you get down there. Here we go. Fold over. How far did you get? And some of you are all the way down, aren't you? I could do But you know, I can imagine I can do that. Oh, and then come back up. Ah, let's try that again. And if I imagine it, well, maybe someday I can make it real, just like my patio back there. Someday that will be real. <laughs> maybe one day when I do gym class, you'll come out and find me sitting on a chair out there, and the patio will be all done. Can you imagine that? All right, stretch. Remember, go till you feel a five or a six. That's pretty good. And come back up. Okay, straighten your legs back out. Shake them out a little bit. Roll them. Just kind of flop them. Shake your knees. Good. Now I'm going to do this. I'm going to twist my body over to one side. First, sit up very straight. All I'm doing is taking this hand and going over my leg and this hand and putting it behind me. This is fun doing this in the grass. Turn around. Try to look behind you. Oh. And then come back. You know, what we found out in my backyard is that there's a tree right over there. And in the tree, there's a robin making a nest way in the top. I don't know if you can see it or not, but she was just up there wiggling around just a second ago. Anyway, that robin and I are becoming friends. So let's switch sides. So yesterday, it was kind of funny. While I was out there digging around in the dirt, well, as I would dig along, I would dig up worms and bugs and things, and the robin would fly over and scoop them up. And after a while, we started a little partnership. Turn around and stretch. I would scoop up some dirt, and then I would back up, and the robin would hop in, eat some bugs, hop away, and then I would dig some more. <laughs> it was pretty cool. I think I made a new friend. Okay, let's do that stretch on the other side. So, knee on the outside, or hand on the outside of your knee, other hand behind you, turn around and look behind. Ah. Oh, my muscles are already feeling better after all that work I did. Let's go the other way. Oh, of course, my yard is a mess. Look at all this stuff out there. It's gravel and tools and wood, stones. Oh, that feels pretty good. All right, I'm going to stand up. So you can stand up, too. Let me get my hat. Ah, I like this hat. You know where I got this hat? I got this hat in Israel. I got to ride a bike across the desert in Israel, and I wore this hat on the days when I wasn't riding my bike because, well, you can tell, Sensei doesn't have a lot of hair to protect him from the sun, so the hat was a big help. Ah, well, friends, hey, I want to thank you for coming by and visiting me in my backyard. I hope you got a good stretch. Make sure after you do exercise that you do some stretching on your own. And for my karate students out there, you should be doing these stretches every day to help you get better and more flexible for your karate moves. Well, you know, I think I'm going to go back and do some more work in my yard. Maybe next time we do this, there'll be more of it finished. That would be cool, huh? Thanks for coming by, everybody. I'll see you next time.